I like the way that looks. Oh, um, yeah. Put it all together. Right? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Oh, I have my little notes. Hold on, let me get my phone. <laughs> Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. It's me, Raul, and I am here with my good friend, Victoria. Hey y'all, what's up? <laughs> um, so today we're here doing a mukbang, and this is the first time for me and YouTube. Yes, yep, I've never so. been in a YouTube video or on a channel, so this is exciting. <laughs> and I love mukbangs in general, so I'm pretty excited. Me too. So, and given the fact that I haven't eaten all day, this is going to be even better for me. So, she's hungry. She's hungry. We all hungry. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Just to let y'all guys in on what we got today, what our spread is. Um, I have pasta here from Domino's, uh, chicken carbonara. So, I've um, never had pasta from Domino's. To me, I like the pizza. Though. Okay. Um, but I just don't get it as often as I do the pasta because the pasta to me is pretty good from okay, there. So okay. then I got a salad on the side, you know, to balance she got her it out. Salad. <laughs> <laughs> to balance it out, you know, all that carbs. Um, and then even more carbs. <laughs> I got um, brownies as mm, well. No, more of um, cookie brownies. Never so. had dessert from there either. I'm no not gonna lie, that's from, I like Domino's pizza. I do. Oh, okay. So this is different for me. I never get and the, other, else, stuff. the yes. other stuff. Yes, we okay. get the five ninety nine pizza. And I like pineapple on my pizza. Okay. Oh yes, me too. A lot of people I don't like, like it. Yes, I don't get the debate with that. Like they're like, hell no, it doesn't belong in there. <laughs> blah 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 blah. I'm like, honey, it's pretty good. And don't knock it till you try it. True. True. <laughs> so I love Taco Bell, and I'm broke, and I'm on a budget, so. This is a pretty cheap meal, okay? You get the $5 box. I kind of forgot what I bought. Um, I know there's like a lot going on here. We have double desserts. This Ooh. is a cinna twist, cinnamon twist. I think I've had those before. And then cinnamon delights. These rolls said he's never had them. Never had them. Her, her life's about to change right now. <laughs> And then we got some Dorito Locos tacos, a burrito, and two other tacos that I've never tried before. Oh, so I got okay. something new. Something instead new. Instead of the same thing that I always yeah. get. So, and then we got some sauces here. It's a little bit too hot in Texas right now to be having some Diablo, but yeah. it's cute for the video. You're already sweating enough. <laughs> yeah, I'm already looking so. at it like, girl, I'm already sweating. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so let's Should go we ahead dig and get in? started. Okay, I think I'm gonna try my fave. Have you ever had a Doritos Locos tacos? Doritos tacos? Yeah. It's just a Dorito chip with just basic taco. Mm -hmm. This is the bomb. Mm -hmm. Are you gonna start off with the pasta? Yes. Okay, okay. I'm gonna start off with this. I like some mild sauce. I'm a mild girl. I'm about that hot <laughs> and Diablo. Can we cuss on here? Or um, are you gonna bleep it out? <laughs> <laughs> I could bleep it out. I could probably bleep it no, out. No, no, no. I'll, I'll be a good girl. Yeah. It's, a, it's up to you. Do you want to cuss? Okay, okay. The I haven't figured it out yet, but... Oh, how they could. get those sound effects? Yeah, how they oh. get that, but... I could probably figure that out. You can figure it out. You're good at I'm editing video. Hard. Girl, by the time I edit a video, it'll be next year I'll post it. <laughs> hey, we gotta, we gotta do it like the way the month bongers do it. Oh, they, like, yes. they show them. They know. show. Look, honey. Have you ever had this? You know what I'm talking about, right? <laughs> oh, wait. Let me wait. I'm already like, I'm gonna show mine too. I've never had the pasta there. Mm. I've heard about it, but I've never had it. It's pretty good. Hmm, okay. Mm -hmm. Oh, they gave you silverware? Yes. Okay, good, good. <laughs> I was so worried about that because mm -hmm. I was thinking about it as I was waiting. I was like, did they did give they? me silverware? Hmm. Yeah, I don't okay. remember them. <laughs> okay, okay. But yeah, luckily they did, so. I got down just to make sure I got everything. I was like, today probably be the day they'll forget something, and I'm going to be here and be like, yeah, they forgot something. <laughs> I didn't want that to happen. Can you be messy, or do you have to be like... <laughs> I, I love watching mukbangs. I don't know about you. Oh, sorry, mukbangs. Or what do they call them? Mukbang, mukbang. 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 I like mukbang. I like mukbang. Mm. Sometimes I catch myself saying the mukbang. I think because I'm just being lazy. I forgot mm. the other word. <laughs> Yeah, I say mukbang just because that's the first thing that I've mm -hmm. heard it. 
yeah called originally so. that's what it's yeah called and then mm-hmm. like the other way you could say but that's literally how it's spelled mook bon- or mm-hmm. mukbang mm-hmm. but honey that's not how we say it mm-hmm. oh what are you drinking by the way? this is a mountain dew baja blast have you ever tried it Mm-mm. oh my god you need to try it I've, I've seen Are you on drink from the straw? No, because I have lip gloss. Sorry. <laughs> I don't I've seen that they have new drinks, though. I just haven't really gotten around to trying them. Like the slushy drinks, like the frozen ones, are the bomb. Like that one, the frozen one, is the bomb. This one's pretty good. Yes. They're called the freezes. Oh, okay. Like a slushy one. It's pretty good. It's good, right? Mm-hmm. Mountain Dew Baja Mountain. Blast. Okay. How's your pasta? Can I try it? Yeah, you can. Okay. Let me get some mm-hmm. silverware right here. So we have good on dishes. I didn't know if you liked, um, because it usually comes with mushrooms in it, but I didn't know if you liked this, so I got it without. I do like mushrooms. Oh, okay. <laughs> now I know. Okay, <laughs> let me get, so what is this? But it's chicken carbonara, so it's chicken, um, pasta, alfredo sauce, bacon, and a little bit of tomato in it. Okay, okay. I need a little piece of chicken. Mm-hmm. Wait, what is it called again? Chicken like... carbonara. Carbonara. Yeah. Hmm. Mm-hmm. That's a fancy word. <laughs> All I know is chicken Alfredo. That's it. Hmm. <laughs> okay. Would you say that's for one person? Or? Mm-hmm. I've eaten one of these. All by myself. By yourself? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. This one's the five ninety nine one that they have on there. Oh. Um, They're five ninety nine. Mm-hmm. All this stuff that I got is five ninety nine. So. Oh. Okay. Um. Also, their five ninety nine. Even the salad. Mm-hmm. Oh. Nice. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I love a cheap dinner. <laughs> yes. <laughs> what would be your first choice? Mm. Well, I can tell you this. I eat at Chili's all the freaking time. Chili's is my ride or die. <laughs> That's my. <laughs> I don't know. I love Chili's. Mm. I don't get tired of it. Hold on, let me text my boyfriend back. <laughs> I forgot to tell him I was doing it. A mukbang. He's probably like, what the hell? I got him into mukbangs. Mm-hmm. I did. I showed him some videos and then I saw him watching them like by himself. And I was like, okay. Okay. You like them mukbangs? <laughs> get, get the napkin? There you yeah. go. Right here, like right under your lip. There we oh, go. Okay. Just a little sauce. Just a little <laughs> sauce. I don't um, leave you hanging like that in the whole video. <laughs> by the way, if y'all don't know, I work at Canes. At nice. Raising Canes. So, Mm-mm-mm. home of the, I don't know if it's world famous, but they're pretty famous. They're pretty Chicken famous. Fingers, so. It seems to say Cane's, everybody's sold. Everybody's down. I'm down. I love their rolls are so just perfect. I don't even know how to explain it. And their sauce is bomb. Mm-hmm. I, I like the sauce too. I didn't like it at first, no. but I've grown to like it. And now I eat it with like pizza and stuff. Like it's pretty good on pizza. Mm. So just move the ranch over just, and get the yeah. cane sauce? Oh, okay. Switch it out for a cane sauce okay. now and then. Okay. It's good. Do you get tired of it though? Are you getting tired? How long have you been there? Mm, what is it? We're just all over this conversation. We're good. Yeah. We're good. Um, we both love to talk, so. Yeah. <laughs> uh, let's see. It's already May going into June. Mm-hmm. So we opened in December. Mm-hmm. So it's already going to be about six months. Yeah, wow. six months. Okay. It'll be in six months in June. Do you feel like it went by fast? You yeah. feel like you were just there? Yeah, considering like I started from the beginning of that restaurant, like the grand opening. Aww. But yeah, being from there being there from the beginning, I've gotten to see like how this restaurant has like grown mm-hmm. and how it's adapted to the neighborhood, the community around it. Okay. Um, for the most part, it's been pretty good. It was pretty busy for like the first two or three months. Mm-hmm. And then now it started to, to calm down, but... Um, yeah, it was pretty busy when I first went over there. Yeah. I was like, what the hell? <laughs> Everybody's ready for them chicken fingers. Yeah. Um, but now it's calmed down to like what they would say normal standards. So. Normal pace. Yeah, normal okay. pace. Okay. Um, and then with the new one that opened up closer to you. Thank God. Um, I mean, in city no base. offense. <laughs> I don't mind driving, but I love a good down the street go to yeah. place that I love to eat. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Um, I did go there and outside they have a big old patio with lights 
and a bunch of fans, and it's really fan. It's bigger. It's a little I bit know. bigger than y'all's. I've driven, I've driven by it, and I've noticed that it looks bigger than the one that I work at. That whole area is gonna have restaurants mm-hmm. and um, all kinds of stuff. Yeah, City it's like the whole like, a lot. kind of strip. Mm-hmm. Like, yeah, yeah. A whole kind of like plaza, whatever. For they, sure, they call it. I'm glad. I'm glad it is. I definitely needed some more stuff. Mm-hmm. What I say is missing. I've heard a lot of my friends say we need a Chipotle. Mm-hmm. I do like Chipotle. Not every day, because that one's expensive too. Mm. But I could see why. Um, I haven't had Chipotle since I was at Texas State, which was two years ago. What? So I haven't had Chipotle in a while. Okay. A lot of people don't like it. A lot of people do. Yeah. It's just kind of um, like a, eh, whatever yeah. your preference is. It's, it's tasty. But it is I tasty. Don't, I, don't know. I like the bulk. I always get the bowl. I don't get that big mm-hmm. ass burrito or nothing. Uh-uh. I would always get the burrito. For real? Mm-hmm. I like a lot of stuff and I feel like the burrito would just like, maybe it's the bread that makes me kind of like overfilling and I'm like, eh, I don't want it no more. Yeah, you know what I mean? Sure. I have a thing for hot cheetos and cheese. My stomach doesn't, but I do. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, my stomach is the same way. I think, and I never used to have that problem with those kind of snacks. I know. Like when those I was kind a of kid, snacks. I would eat hot Cheetos like there was no tomorrow. And now my stomach hates me for it. <laughs> I'm just like, what happened, mm-hmm. girl? Control it. Like, get it together. Mm-hmm. But I still eat it, so I don't give I'll, I'll suffer the consequence for a bag of hot Cheetos. I'm sorry. Mm-hmm. Not sorry. It's a good. It makes me happy, okay? <laughs> My nails look like nachos, okay? Oh, mm-hmm. not nachos. A cheese, a cheese. Cheese. That's what someone told me at work. I was like, and I keep looking at them like, oh, I want hot Cheetos and cheese. <laughs> okay, what are you working on now? Salad? I'm working on the salad, too. Okay. Yeah, I'm kind of splitting it up, but... Now I'm working on just salad. a basic cr- crunchy taco. Just a basic one. Just a, you know... Uh oh. They're like the ones that you get like on the side. Yeah. Like the dollar one. Mm-hmm. You like the ones from Jack in the Box? Even though they're kind of mm-hmm. like nasty looking, but they're kind of bomb sometimes. I've never really liked the ones from Jack in the Box. It's... See, that kind of food is good when you're drunk. Yeah, like greasy, Have you ever had, oily, like, yes! heavy kind of food. Yeah. When I'm drunk as hell, sorry if any of my family's watching but like oh my god she's talking about it on camera no they see me <laughs> i'm 22 okay we're legal here we're legal <laughs> <laughs> i was like i told my boyfriend after we're like going out and stuff i'm like i want a mcdonald's and i don't i used to I was like a lot but now honey we deal with the consequences mm. and i'm done with dealing with the consequences like i'm hurt mm-hmm. like i regret it but I don't regret it when I'm drunk. I'm like, I want the the double cheeseburger with the mac sauce. I want the salty fries. Mm-hmm. I want the ice cream. I want, I don't know what it is. I just get so freaking hungry when I'm drinking. What about you? Have you mm-hmm. ever gotten like this at a point? Or she's just a little, she's just a little buzz. She's not. I've never really gotten to the point where I'm like drunk, drunk. I just feel like. <laughs> <laughs> We're not gonna go there. That's another video. Yeah. <laughs> This is that's just a another yeah, story time that's a video. Story time, yes. <laughs> Ooh, that's a good story time. So you've never, never. I've never really gotten like drunk to the point where I'm like, I have. Mm-hmm. That was my 21st birthday. Hmm. Hmm. Interesting. Night- <laughs> nightmares, honey. Nightmares. <laughs> Thought I was dying, honey. But yeah, I've definitely gotten buzzed to where I feel like. But do you want that greasy food? Feel it, but... Like, oh my god, I want a cheeseburger. I want. I want fries, I'm hungry, I want nuggets. Like It don't really matter. You don't care what, what it is. is. Yeah, greasy or not. As long as I have some food. Yeah. That's why I try to eat before I go out. Mm. Do not try to go out without eating. No, 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 no. Yo, <laughs> I've, ne- I've never done that. I always don't. try and have no. something in my stomach. Like I've heard horror stories from that. Mm -mm. Mm. and we're we're little you know what I mean like lightweight so that makes it even worse Mm -hmm. on Mm -hmm. your body you gotta be smart about it when you're going out and drinking you You don't wanna be hurting or passing out or (laughs) being you know hurting your body you know what I mean you gotta 
You gotta be on a full, at least a little full stomach and kind of, you know, work your way up to getting, feeling good. Mm -hmm. We don't need to go mm -hmm. all the way in. <laughs> Because then we'll, honey will be falling, hurting. I take a Tylenol right before I go to bed. And I do not wake up with a hangover. Wow. Life hack. <laughs> I, I, I didn't even know that. Like, Because I would just wake up and I'm just like, oh my God. The world is spinning. <laughs> <laughs> like, I'm hurting. Mm -hmm. Take a Tylenol. Something little. It doesn't have to be a high doses or anything like that. Just a little, little bit something before you go to bed. Cause I get headaches, that's my hangover. Headaches and just feeling dizzy. That's how I get it out of the way and just okay. knock the hell out. Take a shower before, I also take a shower. I've done where I just lay down and go to bed, ew. Never. That's gross. <laughs> I know, Cochina here. <laughs> Only once. No, I've done that too, so. Honey, I was tired, my feet <laughs> hurt, what do you expect? Mm -hmm. That was my 21st birthday, again. <laughs> Mm -mm. Oh. Mm -mm. That's a story time right there. Mm -hmm. I won't be here for another hour if I told you that story. <laughs> mm -mm. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. I saw the movie Aladdin last weekend. Oh, okay. It was so good. Uh, oh my, you need to see it if you haven't seen it. Mm, I haven't seen it, but. Hopefully it's calmed down now because when I went, there was like a shit ton of people and I was like, my anxiety and my just like my. I mean, my little pet peeves because there's just so many people. Mm -hmm. I'm just like, yeah. oh my god. I yeah, get I get that sometimes too, but I just get annoyed. Like, I no offense to the people, you know what I mean, but just like me, I just get all like, oh my god, there's all these people. Mm -hmm. Oh my god, oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> and my boyfriend's like, can you chill the hell out? Yeah. <laughs> oh my god. But that's just how I am. But mm -hmm. I had to see it. He was like, you want to see it? I'm like, yes, please. I'm a Disney fanatic. And all these live actions and stuff, I'm like, yes, let me mm -hmm. pour it. <laughs> Aladdin. I'm living. Lion King. I cannot wait for that, that movie. Mm -hmm. I cannot. I don't even care how many people are there, shit. I'm done. <laughs> I won't be freaking out. I just need, I don't like to sit like in between, like on both sides. I like mm -hmm. to be like on the edges, like on the sides, as much as I can. Yeah. I went to the Alamo Draft House. Well, my boyfriend likes to go over there. And you know how they have the little tables in between y'all? Have you ever been there? And you can eat, like, yeah. food, food? Mm-hmm. But honey, your bill will be high as hell. You're like, oh, I want this and this and this and this. And then your bill's like $30. You're like, wait, what? what? <laughs> Where did that come from? How was I eating? <laughs> they have, like, a unlimited or bottomless uh, popcorn. Mm -hmm. So you can just order the popcorn and they just keep giving it to you. The popcorn's good. Buttery as hell. I love buttery popcorn. Mm. But the movie was so cute, and so I was just like, <laughs> <laughs> like a little kid. Mm -hmm. Just, I mean, I'm a '90s kid, so I grew up on all those movies over and over on rerun and yeah. everything. I drove my mm -hmm. mother crazy with those. I'm like, play it again, play it again. <laughs> my mom's like, oh, not another whole new saw world it, again. Like, three times. I'm singing the songs, mm -hmm. girl. Like. I love Disney films. Like when I saw Beauty and the Beast, a girl was crying. I took my little sister with me and she's just like, like, why are you crying? <laughs> what, what is, why are you, what's so sad about this? And I'm just like, you don't understand. Like I grew up with this as a kid, you know, and just seeing it again and just like awesome actors and actresses. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. it's like, oh, just reliving, like just, your, yeah. it, it, for me, it brought yeah. back memories, just watching those and, Mm -hmm. Being so happy watching those and looking up to that kind of stuff, and and then I love the movies in general. Like the, eh, you know, some of them can kind of. I know some live actions people are like, uh, -uh they messed it up, or uh, uh, they they changed the whole thing. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I haven't seen one like that yet, where they twisted it around or changed it up a little bit too much. I haven't seen one like that, but I know I've heard that from the live action movies yeah. that it can be good and then it can be like, okay, don't mess it up. That's what I hope for The Lion King. They better not mess it up. Because that one's... They got really good uh, people in the movie. Mm -hmm. I think there's like Beyonce, Seth Rogen. Uh, I know I'm missing a lot of people. I can't yeah. think right now. <laughs> but... Um, yeah, that one de definitely, definitely has like high um, standards that a lot of people want it to, to live up to. So. To live up to, yeah. Mm -hmm. It's two days after my birthday. So I think I'm going to do it like that weekend. Go over yeah. there and see that. Um, I hope they still have the songs from there too. Do you think they'll still have the songs from they the cartoon? Well. Um, 
Aladdin did, but Aladdin had new songs. Oh. Like ones that they produced and stuff like that. And the characters, oh my god. I think Lion King is just that iconic and that um, well known mm -hmm. that they'll just keep the original songs that are in the movie rather than like make anything new. I hope so. I want to um, hear, I want to be king and all that. Mm -hmm. <laughs> What's, yeah. another, what's another song I'm trying to uh, think right now? What the hell? Why am I going blank right now? It's when they're being recorded. <laughs> um. We're gonna come up, right? <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah. I, you don't know what I'm talking about. The songs from the movie. You mm -hmm. know, you sing along mm -hmm. and you know all the words. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I heard Mulan supposed to be a live action. Really? Mm hmm. I love that movie too. Oh my god. The songs in there. Honey, I know every word, okay? Mm. All these kids that are watching the movie, I'm gonna need you to back up because I knew this first. Mm. Oh, 90s kids. And up. <laughs> and up. The last movie I saw was the Avengers movie. The Avengers. Mm -mm. Yeah. Not into that stuff. Oh my god, they're all gonna come for me. <laughs> <laughs> they're gonna be like, what the what hell? The what hell? are you doing? <laughs> what are you doing with your life? Soft taco. Mmm, the spicy nacho. Oh, so but it's like nachos a... in it? Mm hmm. Mm hmm. I yes, didn't even know. We got, the little, we got the little Fritos here. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not good at this, showing the food and shit. Look at that. Girl, clean up. <laughs> There's no maid here. Okay, how's your salad? And your... My salad's pretty good. Um, mm. I definitely didn't want to eat too, too much of that. Okay. Um, but the salad is good. Caesar salad. Can I have Caesar some? salad. Yeah. I'm all standing. I'm giving it all. <laughs> <laughs> I love Caesar salad. Mm -hmm. That's my favorite salad ever. I like it because it has the cheese and the. It has chicken know, in it. Mm. Chicken, yeah. Chicken Caesar salad. It's yeah, good. yeah. I always get that if I can. So this was five ninety nine. Mm -hmm. It's but not it's bad. A big, it's a big bowl. Yeah, it's a big bowl. I could get full with this. Mm -hmm. Like mm -hmm. just a salad. <laughs> For real. Go to Domino's for a salad. <laughs> I just want a salad. That's it. No, 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 I don't want the pizza and the... No pizza, mm -hmm. no wings, no... You're gonna be like, girl, girl. What the hell? No, 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 no. Wait, I'm gonna need you to get some pizza. <laughs> if I was a registered girl, I'd be like, you're in the wrong place, honey. Mmm. Uh -uh. mm. <laughs> I love pizza salad. Oh, my God. I, mean, I know I'm being, like, exaggerating, but... Like, for real. Caesar salad... Take a shot every time I say Caesar salad. Mm. That's a game. That's the new game. <laughs> oh my god. You wanna mm. try this? Yeah. Okay. I put some mild sauce on it. I've never Ooh. had like that type of, um, like the flour tortilla. I just have like the, the crunchy one all the time. Yeah, same. I've never the had flour the flour from one. Taco Bell. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Different. Oh my god, I can't believe I'm eating so like fast. <laughs> I'm a slow eater. Me too. Like my parents I'm hate it. My like, boyfriend hates it. Yelled at because like I get so slow, but it's just the way I eat. So. Like my boyfriend's like, you're not done. That's pretty good. Okay, okay. It's a beef or no bean burrito. Beef bean burrito. No bean burrito. <laughs> Chinga. We don't know what it is. Okay, let's try this one. Let's see. Let's see. Oh, there we go, girl. Oh, look, it even matches my nails. Oh, I'm <laughs> color coordinated and everything. Oh. Let me look at my notes. <laughs> my handy dandy notebook. <laughs> Did you see Blue's Clues come back? Oh my god. <laughs> I like died laughing when I saw that on Twitter. I was like, wait, what? <laughs> my childhood is coming to life back again. Mm -hmm. Some people don't like it though. Like I've seen on like Twitter, don't Instagram, like nothing, girl. there's really always two sides to everything. Like, girl, if you don't um, like it, don't watch it. But yeah, I mean, reviews some people are good. don't like it just because it's it doesn't have like the original host Steve. Girl, he's like, busy. He's booked. <laughs> he's busy. He's like I for too many years. I'm gonna need. I got another job, girl. Mm -hmm. Maybe that's what he's doing. Hmm. No, but that's cool because now the younger generation gets to see gets to see what we grew up with. Yeah, in their I grew up on that. Way, I grew so. up on that for sure. So, well, it's like Disney Channel. Like right now, my sister loves Disney Channel and she thinks it's like the best thing ever. And I'm like, honey, 
Have you ever seen the shows that I watched? Bomb. Yeah, I don't get the excitement behind Disney Channel now. I don't get... Like... <laughs> I do not understand Disney Channel right now. Mm-hmm. But it's because my sister wasn't in my generation, so she didn't watch those shows that I grew up on. Mm-hmm. They're, and now they're not there, obviously, anymore. Yeah. Like, that's so Raven, I was like... They're only on, like, YouTube now and stuff. But... I just YouTube... I miss it so mm-hmm. much. Or I find it on Facebook. And just start randomly watching it. Like, mm-hmm. I'm like, oh my god, I used to love this show. I miss those days. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? I'm not gonna lie. I do miss those days a lot. Mm-hmm. I do. But we all gotta grow up. We all gotta live our life. So yeah. it was fun while it lasted. <laughs> <laughs> I love Cardi B in general. So I love anything. I wish I, I could grow my R's. The poker, <clears throat> Let me see if I can. I gotta clear my throat. Hold on. Let me get some. I'm, I'm gonna try because I'm just gonna embarrass myself. Oh, crrr. Oh, Oh, crrr. Yeah. Something like that. Yeah. Something like that. <laughs> that first one wasn't good. The other two were yeah, good. Yeah, <laughs> I like how a lot more artists are tapping into more mm-hmm. Latin mm-hmm. artists and using, or not using, I don't wanna say that, but like collaborating, collaborating with mm-hmm. them. I love that too. Mm-hmm. It really excites me and it really makes me happy. Because it's not like the the rappers are with the rappers, or the people who speak in Spanish are just in Spanish. Mm-hmm. People in pop are just in pop. Like everybody's kind of intertwining with each other and coming up with some good stuff. Mm-hmm. Like Madonna and uh, Maluma. Yes, I, like, I love that song. <laughs> what? I would have never thought of that. Mm-hmm. Like that collab. Mm-hmm. Never. Yeah. So it really excites me when I see stuff like that. And it's so good. Mm-hmm. That's good that they collab with each other. Yeah. No matter if, that, if that's their genre of music or not. Mm-hmm. They come up with good stuff anyways. So what's another good random one? Mm. Like that's the one I know that's new. Con Calma. Uh, Daddy Oh, that's my song. I like that. With Daddy Katie Yankee Perry. and Katy Perry. That too. You see how random? Mm-hmm. Like Daddy Yankee <laughs> is the bomb. He's my favorite ever and he's fine as hell okay puerto ricans don't age okay (laughs) have y'all seen him Uh, insert a picture right here because he is fine as hell (laughs) and then Katy perry i would have never thought those two would have met up and did a remix of his song Mm -hmm. so um oh we did get some uh oh duh oh my god (laughs) Oh, Let I'm us dead. not forget. <laughs> They're gonna be like, "What? What happened to my question? <laughs> what happened to my concern that I want y'all to talk about? Mm-hmm. Y'all talked about everything else." Um, so okay, we ahead. did get some responses on our social medias that okay. we posted. Um, mm-hmm. We posted a few um, little question boxes where people could leave um, mm-hmm. their questions, their comments, their concerns that they want us to talk about. Okay. And we did get a few suggestions. One of mine was talking about places where you can go here in San Antonio for like the summer mm-hmm. um, to different places to like eat, drink, um, you know, have fun, okay. different, um, just different places, um, I guess, where you can entertain yourself in San Antonio during the summer. During the summer. That was one of, uh, one one of, of mine. The, one of yours? Okay. Mm-hmm. Well, for me, I don't think I can answer that question really well because I'm really boring and I just go to the, I just go to franchise places, franchise places, and I just yeah, I, that's kind of me I, too. My but. goal this year is to get out of my element and stop going to Chili's. <laughs> Even though I love Chili's to death, I need to go somewhere else, girl. Mm-hmm. I'm gonna need you to go some hole in the wall places, some places that don't get a lot of recognition or, I guess, popularity, and go try new things because I'm mm-hmm. really insane. So I think it's hard for me to answer that question, but I think just getting out of your element. You know what? Let's look up places. What's this? I've never been to this restaurant before. Let's Mm -hmm. go. You know what I mean? Yeah. That's kind of like my goal this summer. So it's hard for me to answer that question. Yeah. uh, Yeah. Broaden your horizon. Yeah. Because my horizon is just a little bit not there. As far as like entertainment here in San Antonio, I mean... There's always concerts going on, mm-hmm. but there's always like little festivals too um, that you can always look up on the internet yeah. throughout the summer. Um, For sure, like Brooks Facebook page is they're really um, they keep it keep it updated. And they have a lot of events for this summer that they have 
that they have at the Green Line uh, mm-hmm. Park. So I think following pages yeah, following of your city like or your community your and stuff like that, community they pages. really keep up with it. Or like keeping that. up with your community on like social media. Social media for sure. Um, just figuring out different stuff to do. That's not I would too, say not too far. Yeah. Um, and then like there's always the Staples, Six Flags, Fiesta Texas, um, mm-hmm. and Sea World. Mm-hmm. Um, those are always uh, staple places. Staple places to, to go, go tr- any time of year, but yeah, specifically true. in the summer because it's true, always true. Mm-hmm. always packed. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, yes. Keep that in mind. Mm. Or maybe just going outside and just riding a bike, going for a walk. Mm-hmm. If you have pets, go outside, walk your dog, or... I know it's kind of boring, but I normally don't do that, and I would like to do that more. There's Even though it's hot as hell outside, girl. That's why I don't go outside. Because that's our sweat, girl. There's something. always different areas, too, where you can... Um, if you're old enough, you can go to, like, the bars and mm-hmm. um, clubs that they have. There's some downtown. There's some um, on St. Mary's. Mm-hmm. There's some on Main Street. Mm-hmm. Um, and those the latter two, they're just north of downtown. So. Yeah, I think that's one too, for as entertainment wise. <clears throat> yeah, entertainment wise, mm-hmm. <clears throat> for sure. And to get some drinks. Too. And it's pretty popping during the week. Mm-hmm. Like we know, it's, yeah. we know it's popping on the weekends, like when it comes to bars and clubs and stuff. But honey, I passed by like on a Wednesday, and I'm like, wait. It's a Wednesday, girl. I thought it looked like it's a Saturday. <laughs> you know what I mean? So even just going like during the week and just hanging out, not be like all out or anything, even though that's fun too. <laughs> but have like your chill ones. Yeah. Another good place I really like is a chill bar is Slackers. Oh, okay. I've heard about that. I think my brother's been there, but I've never been There's a Slackers on St. Mary's. That's not my favorite Slackers. Mm-hmm. It's kind of small in there. My favorite Slackers is the one by um, North Star Mall. Right across the street from North Star Mall. And they have like games, arcade games, two floors. You can play like Jenga, you can play pool, you can play darts, bring all your quarters and still like your change because oh, a lot okay. of them take the change. Um, a lot of places to sit down and just like a chill, yes. casual drinking night. That's like, fun. Um, there's another place that I like that's similar to that. Uh-huh. Like a chill kind of chill place, place where you right? Can just, yeah, yeah. Like, meet have up. a conversation or just like meet yeah. up, social hours. It's not too like, loud, whatever. so you can talk. Yeah. Um, Halcyon on South, in Southtown. Hmm. Okay. It's like Never a it. coffee place, but it also has like a bar and they sell food there as well. It's like a restaurant during the day okay. and then at night it turns into like a bar. Hmm. Um, but it's not like a club where it's like loud and stuff. It's more like just a bar and you can like order like coffee or like order alcoholic drinks and chill just chill you know I like, like a chill bar yeah Halcyon um is in Southtown mm-hmm. and it's it's pretty um it's pretty great there it's more modern it's in a more modern side of town mm-hmm. given the development that's happened in Southtown over the past few years so mm-hmm. um definitely check that out if you haven't been there Halcyon that's definitely a good one. Hmm, never heard of that. Mm-hmm. Want to check that out. And it's right on the river, <clears throat> so like, if you want, you can go down to the river and walk. Go hang out over there. Yeah, walk, walk around the river or do whatever. So. My little mm-hmm. pelitos keep coming out on the back of my head, and I'm like, <laughs> honey, stop, because everybody can see that. Really? I don't, I don't know if you can see it from from there, but okay, don't look at it. Okay, Comment I'm if just... you can. <laughs> <laughs> okay, she got a lot of little pelitos everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god that's hilarious mm. shout out to our fellow jaguars yes. y'all better be watching it throughout this whole thing y'all know who I, y'all know who i am <laughs> y'all know who he is so i'm gonna need y'all to comment below hashtag jaguars poodle pinche jaguars okay and give it a thumbs up <laughs> poodle jaguars all right <laughs> um i think we should start with dessert mm, yeah. start with dessert honey we've already been eating <laughs> let's yeah let's... i can't think of the words not start with dessert. Let's move on to dessert. Yes, move on. There we go. She can talk. She's a YouTuber, okay? <laughs> what is for dessert? <laughs> All right. So as we said before, we have dessert. Um, these are cookie brownies from Domino's. Mm. So they have cookies mixed in with them. Yummy. And what 
do your root tea. Uh, these are cinnamon twists. This is all from Taco Bell. And then these are cinnamon delights. And he said he's never had I'm it. I'm excited to try those. <laughs> it's not warm anymore, but that's um, okay. It's better when it's warm. Sorry. <laughs> I talk too much. Okay. All right. These are not my favorite, the twists. I was like, eh. I give them to my sister when I get the box. Those, yeah. Yes, okay. Mm -hmm. I'll They're try, good I'll try for the... <laughs> They're good regardless, so. I'll try for the video, even though they're not my fave. Mm -hmm. This is like, I don't know about that crunchy girl. This is like, mm. It's like a sweet chicha rum, pretty much. <laughs> Literally, it is. Yeah. Oh my gosh, I didn't think of it like that. Mm -hmm. Love that. <laughs> sweet chicha rums. Yeah. Mm. Okay, next, the star of the show. <laughs> The stars of the show here. Stars. Mm -mm. Bye. Girl, bye. <laughs> okay, you ready? Mm -hmm. Go ahead. It's super sweet. Like, some people don't like, okay, like, oh my god, that's too sweet. Yeah, 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 yeah. Get your drink ready, girl. Okay, ready? Go ahead. See? It's better when it's warm. Mm -hmm. You see what I mean? That's good. I'll show you. Yeah, I'm still eat that. Isn't that good? Mm hmm. Is that filling in it? Yes. It has mm -hmm. filling in it. Oh my gosh, but. <laughs> See, I told you they're good. But sometimes me and, my, me and my boyfriend love these, so we don't get the four pack. We get the 12 pack. <laughs> I think the 12 pack's like three bucks or something like that. But after a while, when you eat so many of these, your mouth gets like. This is so much cinnamon mm -hmm. or like sugar. But yeah, one we have two, two for you and two for me. Mm, that's good. Dude, these are the bomb. Cinnabon Delights from Taco Bell. Okay, mm -hmm. yours is next. All right, so let's try these brownies. Okay, these cookie on. brownies. My mouth got off. <laughs> Dry. <laughs> Dry. Okay, are these? So what is it called again? A brownie. What's the name? The official name. Official name is um. Marbled cookie brownies. Marbled cookie brownies. Yeah. Okay. Um, these are probably gonna warm too. Warm up too. Mmm. Mmm. It's the best of both worlds. A brownie <laughs> and a chocolate chip cookie. <laughs> I love a good soft chocolate cookie. I don't mm. like how like crunchy. Mm mm. Get nah. that crunchy cookie out of here, girl. <laughs> <laughs> or get it some milk at least. Like. Oh yeah. For sure. Because even you can just like soak it. Mmm. Okay. I like that. That's good. Mm -hmm. Uh oh, I'm gonna be like, mmm, mmm, mmm. There's <laughs> <laughs> gonna be a lot of sound effects. <laughs> it's just been like a question that I always get, probably pretty much for the past couple years, between me and my boyfriend. We've been together for seven years this month, and we're high school sweethearts. We met when we were sophomores mm -hmm. at East Central High School. And I'm always getting asked, how long have y'all been together? And I say, oh, seven years. And then people are just like, shook. They're like, huh? Wait, what? You know? Mm -hmm. And I'm like, we've been together since high school. That's why it's been such a long period of time. Mm -hmm. Does that make sense? Yeah. I gra we graduated when uh, it was 2014. So, I mean, it's been a while. Yeah. And the question that I always get, and I'm so tired of it, is are y'all ever gonna get married? And I'm just like, <laughs> are you gonna pay for the wedding? That's my answer back, literally. Mm. I know this wasn't a topic anybody asked, but I've it's been a big thing yeah. that's been happening for like I said the past couple years. That's yeah. <laughs> not a big thing, but big question. I'm always that getting always from comes up. random yeah. from coworkers to people in my class mm -hmm. or. Um, just in general, and I, I don't know why. Why is everybody obsessed with getting married? I don't know. That's they act like it's the ultimate goal. Yeah. Like, I don't know. Or there's like some kind of time period. Yeah. Like, oh, honey, you've already exceeded it. Why aren't you married? <laughs> That's the kind of reaction that I get. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like seven years. Seven years. You're already supposed to be married. You're already supposed to be married with ten kids, girl. <laughs> Okay. Like, I feel like that's how a society looks at my mm -hmm. relationships relationship, um, yeah. time period. And it's kind of sad. It's kind of disappointing that everybody, when they when they hear a number, they think, 
why haven't you done all the other stuff? It's like, I don't have to do anything. There's no, there's no guidebook yeah. to a relationship and what mm-hmm. you should be doing within the years that you're together. Does that make sense? Yeah. And I mean, there's nothing, I'm not against marriage or anything like that, but honey, if you ain't ready for it, don't do it. <laughs> and I'm not, we're not. Mm-hmm. You know, uh, me and my boyfriend are so chill and so just going with the flow and we take it day by day. But we also have been together since we're in high school. So that's why the time period yeah. has been a long time. And I feel like since y'all have been together for so long, mm-hmm. like you started out in high school, mm-hmm. y'all were barely getting to know each other yeah. during that high school. And we time. were young. I and y'all were still... young anyways. So yeah. y'all were just barely getting to know each other, barely getting to like navigate the relationship like now now we're adults you know now you're adults figuring stuff out as adults Mm -hmm. in your relationship Mm -hmm. so i feel like you should have a sufficient amount of time to figure stuff out as adults Mm -hmm. given that you'll understand it more Mm -hmm. and yeah just have a better understanding of what you like what he likes what y'all don't like and yeah different stuff you know we we met when we were kids Mm -hmm. you know so we're still living in our, you know, I mean, I still live in my parents' house, but what I mean is, like, we still, I had rules, mm-hmm. you know, I still have rules, but it's a little bit different now mm-hmm. with the age, and um, my responsibilities were different as well, and it's just, it's just frustrating to me just hearing that question and hearing, why haven't I, well, when am I going to do this, when am I going to do that? It's like, honey, I don't even know. <laughs> seriously like Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and then we're not ready for that and that's okay you know that's okay for stuff like that to not be ready and plus who the hell is gonna pay for it not me not him (laughs) they're expensive yeah when when i when the time is right i want to do it the right way and have what i want and have what we want as a wedding not just whatever we can Mm -hmm. does that make sense yeah I feel like we're going to be engaged for a long time, too. And then people are like, are y'all going to get married? <laughs> Jane, go, dude. Just be like, we're engaged. We're engaged. I we're know, planning we're just... on it. We'll do it when we want to. It's my relationship. It's our relationship. And when we're ready, when we're ready. Yeah. I don't think it's fair for other people to tell me when or where, when are you going to do all this? Mm-hmm. It's like, honey, you're not in the relationship. <laughs> Worry about yourself. Mind your business. Mm-hmm. Does that make sense? Mm-hmm. That's not to be mean, but girl, that it question frustrates sense. me. Yeah. Can we move in first? Damn. <laughs> <laughs> Can we get to know each other under the same roof first? Mm-hmm. So there's just a lot. It just frustrates me. So I thought that'd be kind of a good topic to talk about. Yeah. Because I think a lot of people mind their own business somewhere else when they should just be minding their own business. Yeah. In their own household. Yeah. <laughs> a lot of people just need to mind their own business and. You're happy, girl? Okay. Good. Be straight and you're right? Good. That's it. That's all that's all that's mine. Exactly. So, what's something Mm -hmm. that frustrates you? Uh, Everybody Uh, always asks you about your life. Like, they know (laughs) what's going on. Is there something that frustrates um, you? Or, like, just like, uh, because that cringes me all the time when I hear that question. Mine is pretty much similar to that. Like, Cause I'm single. I've been single for like years, um, and it's pretty much like the opposite. Like, when are you gonna find somebody? Mm. When are you gonna, okay. you know, pursue somebody? Like, and I just tell them, I don't know. Like, when, whenever something happens, yeah. whenever I meet someone, yeah, that's what I tell them. And then, well, they have like these like standards of me. Like, well, you should be married before you're mm. this age stuff like well okay. I don't know what's gonna happen well, in my life yeah. yeah like I want to eventually have get married and have the family uh, yeah and stuff. yeah like that's the that's the ultimate goal but there's things that needs to exactly. happen before yeah. we can't just go straight head first into that kind mm-hmm, of situation mm-hmm. with somebody random or something like that no yeah. it needs to we all have a certain plan <clears throat> we don't exactly know what the plan is. Mm-hmm. So that's why they always say, you know, today's a gift, tomorrow's like a mystery. Because we don't know what's going to happen tomorrow, yeah. right? So, 
um, we can kind of relate on that frustration of when, when is yeah, it going to happen? When you know, when are you going to happen? When are you going to do this, girl? <laughs> when are you going to do that? It's like I don't even know, girl. So I, I can see, I can see what you're saying about mm-hmm. that, and mm-hmm. everyone will find their person. You know, everybody's love story. Excuse me, relationship is different. Mm-hmm. And like for me, you know, we, we never know what will happen tomorrow, right? But I know that I don't want to be with anybody else. And I found someone at a super young age that did not expect that. And I, mm. didn't, I didn't know it was going to turn into seven years. Does that make sense? Yeah. So you never know. Yeah. You never know. You're going to get a new job. You're going to be in an internship. When you're, we're still young. You're still mm-hmm. young. You still have, I know it's, Learning. I know it's frustrating to hear that annoying saying, you, you have, you're young, you're, you're gonna, young. you're gonna, you have so much to go for in this and that, you'll, you'll, I know that's annoying to hear because I'd be annoyed to hear that too, but I think it's absolutely true. I think just holding on, not, not giving up, not mm-hmm. giving up hope, but not, like, not really that making your priority. Yeah. Because that's when you find the bad stuff. Yeah. When you make it your priority. In my opinion. In my opinion. Because I know even if you do, you can still go find someone good. But sometimes it can be kind of fishy with that. Yeah. So I think just keeping hope and doing you and being happy and doing what you love to do and what you want to do, you'll be fine. Don't, don't worry about it. I try not to worry about it either, but God, it frustrates me. I know. <laughs> I'm like, girl, didn't you put the wedding dress on? Let me go buy a, a dress from Ross, girl. Just so you can... <laughs> Just so you can be happy. Eventually, we want to get there. Mm. Okay? I do want a family, too. But, girl, I'm really lazy right now, and I'm selfish. That's so not a good... The kind of characteristics yeah, to have a kid. Not, yeah, that's not what you want to bring a kid into. into. So. Oh, my God. No, I'm good. Speaking of Ross, how's Ross? <laughs> <laughs> She's good. I can't wait to graduate and say deuces. <laughs> <laughs> no, I love Ross. They've worked with my schedule, <clears throat> been so patient with me with that. So very helpful. I've never had a job that worked with my schedule so much. Mm. I've always had jobs that just give, don't give a damn yeah. about me being in college. I've had that too. So. And it sucks. Not going to name names, but. <laughs> it yeah. really, really sucks because yeah. you're you're trying to work. And still be alive to do your work and still go to school yeah. and, and then being there late at night and then being here in the morning at school it, it was just hard to work with and hard to work with them yeah but wasn't understanding that I was in school so that was frustrating as well but Ross has never given me a hard time with scheduling and only certain days I want to work other days I don't want to work because of school so but I'm ready to go do what I want to do cashiering and customer service and business Mm-mm. yeah that is not my cup of tea not at all i've been doing it for three years at ross and honey is ready to go <laughs> she's ready she's ready to graduate <laughs> and go find a job yeah and go find a career okay yeah. not a we want careers here. yeah i That's want a lifetime career like... somewhere where i can retire or mm-hmm. at least get my foot get yeah. my feet wet yeah. And move somewhere else later on. You want to have some of your salad? Yeah, oh, sure. <laughs> you can have some of my burrito if you want some. Um, yeah. Try sure, some. Okay, go ahead, girl. Keep talking, Tyra. Um, but yeah. I'm trying to so, eat and talk at the same time. It's very difficult. I know, especially when the conversation gets in. Yes. Yes. We have really good conversations. So. But, mm-hmm. Okay, but go ahead. Like I was saying, I'm expecting to be there at least till the end of the summer and then see if I find a job within the six months um, that the government gives me before <laughs> student loans start start calling. Um, oh my God. But, um, but it was all worth it. Yeah, it was definitely worth it. It took it's a okay. little longer to do it than okay. I had expected, but still, as long as I got the degree and got my education, that's all. You graduated matters. two weeks ago. Not me. Yeah. <laughs> He's a star. He's a star right now. So, um, well, unofficially until <laughs> August. <laughs> August, I officially graduate. But I got to walk the stage she could, two she weeks did. ago. She, so. she did it, girl. Yeah. <laughs> um, but yeah, so that's my plan. Just okay. 
to see if I can find a job within the six months. And then if not, I'll go back to, to grad school. But it, I don't know. I don't know about grad school. See, I get that asked too. If you want to go to grad school. And I'm like, mm-hmm. I think maybe one day. Maybe not next year. Maybe not as back to back. Does that make sense? Yeah. I mean, I say that now. I'm probably going to change my mind. But... <laughs> Let's get some kind of rhythm going on with paying the school back. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? And finding a stable job. Finding something solid. Yeah. Will maybe motivate me to go to grad school. But it's scary to go. To, I'm scared to go to the real world. I don't want to finish school. I'm, I'm sad. I don't even want to talk about it because I get all like... Mm-hmm. I love going to school. I love going to college. It's, it's literally made me a better person. And I know, like, I have my days where I'm like, I don't want to go to school, but you know what I mean? Like, I have my days. But overall, like, I love coming here. I love staying here late. I love mingling with everybody, talking to everybody, networking, sharing skills, like, the whole nine, everything. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And so it's really, really sad that it's going to come to an end this year. But I've really tried to make the the most of it my two years that I've been here. And I'm definitely going to make the most of it this last summer and last fall for me mm. i'm gonna cry dude and then you graduate in december in december yes mm. right before the holidays everybody's gonna be broke <laughs> 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 i was talking to my mom about that she's like why do you have to graduate right before your brother's birthday and christmas i'm and like christmas and everything. mom really oh my god i'm sorry christmas and my brother's birthday come at all year but graduating does not <laughs> okay She's getting a bachelor's. It only comes when I want it to come. (laughs) When I work for it. I'm definitely glad that I got to meet you. um, I know. This last semester. I've never talked to you before. Mm -hmm. Or we've never talked to each other. It was only like in passing when you were at the desk. Mm. um, At the front desk. When she was a receptionist. (laughs) (laughs) I love that job. Oh my god. That literally started my foot in like the door when it came to here and knowing everybody and getting mm, to know all the professors yeah. so just a little bit high and by kind of thing right passing yeah but not like conversations yeah, not texting really. hanging out yeah we already have like three videos ready <laughs> <laughs> like coming soon story time blackout <laughs> next one vlogging an internship internship and then another book bomb <laughs> <laughs> just you know, we, need to inv- we need to invite some more calm students. Yes, I think that'd be fun. That'd be fun. Mm-hmm. Who should we? Who should we? What are you uh, thinking? Whoever wants to come, I and know. Join you? us in a video. Yes. I mean, I'm down for that. Like we a can whole coordinate something, you know. Group Jaguar edition. <laughs> <laughs> to join Excuse us, me. join me, join us in a video. I'm definitely open to that. Okay. Um, so yeah. That'd be fun. That'd be fun. I think it'd be cool. The more the merrier. Yeah. As they say. For sure. So. For sure. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Whoever wants. This was really, really fun. Thank you for bringing me on your channel. I'm excited. No problem. No problem. We need to create more videos. This was, this video was like a month or two <laughs> months in the making. <laughs> yes. Well, we just get so caught up with something. Yeah. And when we were planning it, it was during school time as mm-hmm. well. So school is definitely our priority. Yeah. But we knew maybe after school, like after finals, after we're all done, and then after he's done, we're graduating and having his little mm-hmm. parties and families and stuff. So, oh, and so, trying to get the space to do it too was yeah. difficult. Yeah, just figuring out different things. But I'm glad that we finally got to do it mm-hmm. and it'll be out so other people can see it. And mm-hmm. yeah, I'm okay. excited about Yay. it. I'm excited. All right, well, thank you guys for watching this video. Um, If you liked it, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. And also comment if you have any comments down in the comment section below. Um, Feel free to subscribe to my channel to keep up with all the videos that I post. (laughs) We're already thinking of more more content here. So so definitely be on the lookout for more stuff from me. Mm -hmm. And um, yeah, that's basically it. So thank you guys for watching. See y'all the next time. Bye.